Oh, there's one. That's the guy close right. Somebody was just shooting at him from over that direction, though. And we did have someone up right there. This guy's keeping a close eye on me. Boom. PUBG is one of those battle royales that I never got into back in the day when everybody else was playing it. However, I used to watch a lot of PUBG and this battle royale has some of the most intense gameplay you can get in the genre. Oh, that doesn't get old. Plus, surprisingly, seven years later, this game still has a ton of people playing it, at least according to the Steam charts. So I decided it was time. Time for me to prove all the doubters wrong when they say I'm just a Warzone player. It was time to get a win in PUBG. Hit him once. Dead. Oh, I just... I fucking love this game, dude. I decided on playing third person mode for my first match. I figured it might make things a little bit easier for me. I began my drop on one of the newest PUBG maps, Rondo, which I had obviously not had much experience with up till now. Guess I was gonna have to learn as I go. I spent a few minutes looting, found an AK, an SKS, some basic supplies, and a car that I would use to start rotating to the new circle, which at this point was pretty far away. As I hauled ass through the hillsides, I eventually came to a house where I spotted my very first enemy. It was time to see if I had what it takes. Here you see him. Just saw somebody going to the right side of that house. He's in the middle of the open now. He's shooting at me. That's where I get out. Somebody else. Oh, here he is. Got him. Not a terrible first kill. At least I shook the rust off with that one. Yet again, I had the storm at my back. And I needed to get moving. So I hopped in the car and beelined it to the next safe area of the circle. But as I approached the safety of the next zone, I heard gunshots close by. And I'm not going to get any better at the game just by hiding all games. So let's get involved. There's some gunshots right there to my right. Oh, yep. See, that's careful. I just damaged myself right there. As you can see, not much. But you will have consequences for going 90 miles an hour into a, into a tree. Got him. Hit him. He drove a little bit ahead of me and got out. Yeah, she's still right there. She doesn't even know that I just flanked. Dead. How would you not know that I just did that? <laughs> oh, shit. Where's that gunshot coming from? I think it's that way. I don't know if that was on the hill or in the town. This is where the audio gets for me and I can't really tell where I'm getting shot from. Right there on the fence line. I see it. Hit. Dead. After surviving what I felt like was my first real gunfight, I was feeling pretty good about getting this win. The next storm was coming in though, and we were starting to approach endgame, so it was time to move. With a newfound confidence in my abilities, I made my way into the town of Jiao Tin and prepared for the end of the match. After hearing a gunfight on the outskirts of town, I picked up a spare kill on this poor bastard stuck behind a hay bale. Great. Oh, 
Got me pinned. Bang! Sorry, buddy. And retreated back to the safety of the first house that I saw. It was from this house that I would make my final push to get my first ever solo win in PUBG. But things were about to get a little bit more intense than I bargained for. <laughs> on the rock. I see you. Little shoulder cheese. I see you on that hillside. You stay right up there, champ. Practice fucking armor, that's for sure. He's got a level three helmet too, but I just fucked his up. careful here he's looking for the chow i'm gonna give it to him he died in the storm <laughs> uh oh i'm gonna die in the storm no uh oh holy shit right there dead we move Two more alive. Knocked. He's gonna, he's gonna fucking self revive, dude. I just got shot by the second guy. I see him on the roof. Pink roof. Still there. I got plenty of time to loot. Not really, because I got to move. I'm going to be honest, chat. I don't know how I kill this guy. Unless he's got to come off pink roof too, which I think he does. It's a big shot for me right there. Holy fuck. I can't tell where he is. I think he's in the smaller one now. I see him. He knows I'm putting a med kit on. Ah! Fuck! Second place. What a gut punch. After a crippling defeat like that, I decided maybe today wasn't the best day. You know what they say? Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. I decided to end my stream and come back to this another day. Which, if you are ever looking to join the live streams, we stream Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. noon Eastern on kick.com slash luchi. Please come join us and also like the video if you've made it this far, because I promise you, you are in for a treat. Fast forward one week later, I make my triumphant return to PUBG, and I don't know what got into me today, but I was playing like I had something to prove. I was not about to let this be a repeat of last week. Today, we were getting this win. Got him. I'm missing easy shots on him, though. Hit him. Gotta reload. There we go. Oh, I'm taking this whole get up. Look at this. <laughs> well, I'm in a fucking mini skirt, dude. Just got out of it. I missed him twice. I think he's pushing up the hillside towards me. I need to get to this house. Or is he going for that box? It's a loot box right there he is going for. Hit him once. Got him. Oh, that is close. I see him on the cliff. Hit him. Hit him again. Someone else killed him. Oh, fuck. I don't know where that was from. God damn it, I can't tell where that's from. Oh, look at this fucking Captain Price ass motherfucker. What? He's got a ghillie? What apparently is the best sniper of the game? This is the thing that usually turns people off from PUBG. Well, that and whatever the hell my operator was wearing last match. This game is just so hardcore, especially compared to all of the other battle royales nowadays. But that, in my opinion, is the beauty of it. Because the victory, when you get it, is that much sweeter. All right, 
I decided for my next match, I was going to do things a little bit differently. No more third person perspective. That's the easy way out. We're going first person mode. The map was Miramar, so I decided to drop on power grid, but I wasn't alone. Okay, so the vector is not that great. It's also an SMG, so I can't really complain too much, but it's also an SMG with zero attachments and no extended mag on it. So I will take my ump over that all day. I love, I love the ump, it's so good. All right, so the hip fire kind of ADS thing. There we go. First couple of kills could have been cleaner, but I was alive and they weren't. So I'll take that win. M24, I will absolutely take the M24. Four time scope, even better. Extended mag for the sniper. One more 7.62, never hurt nobody. All right, how far are we gonna go? Not that far, that's good. I made my way through the desert hills, sniper in hand, trying to keep my head on a swivel until I came upon a valley. I didn't know it at the time, but this valley, let's just call it Death Valley. I know, cliche, would set the tone for the rest of the match. Oh shit. Big connection. There's a lot of people holding zone over here. I don't like it. Bang. Take some painkillers and I'll take an energy drink as well, just for a little bit of movement speed. There are people everywhere. I gotta hit the shot. I see our next target. Hit. Miss. Dead. Out there fighting. Dead. Oh, we are on a fucking rampage right now, chat. Holy. Who's that guy aiming at? Way out here. Dead. God damn! Went from three to eight kills in fucking 30 seconds. Hit. Someone was just shooting at me like pretty close. Oh, I have to move so far, dude. This is, I think I'm dead. Unless I find a car. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. There's a motorcycle over there. That's perfect. And I think I have just enough painkillers to get to that motorcycle and then drive in. Unless. Yeah, I got plenty of fucking painkillers to do this. He's not shooting at me, right? Someone's in front of me over here too. This guy's not going for the bike though. We just let him go. We wait till we, I'm gonna wait till I line up like a perfect like straight line shot and then just take this dude out. I missed. Oh shit. And now I'm getting reverse held. I was on fire for a little bit there and got a little cocky. Bandage right quick. Oh, he's going back. Bitch. <laughs> that is definitely one way to deal with the enemy. Now, all that was left to do was get the hell out of here. This motorcycle should do the trick. Only problem being, I've never actually driven one of these before. How hard could it be? Oh! 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 Go! Oh, we're flipping! The zone's about to move again. I need you. All right, we're off. It was safe to say at this point, I was feeling good. Like, 
really good. But the memories of that devastating second place finish last week were still ringing in my head as I looked out the final zone. Ah, fuck! That's the past, and I don't make the same mistake twice. Time to finish what I started. I hope. This guy's got a TV in his name. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This guy's a gamer. You can tell by the way he games. I can just shot his dick off. I actually don't think I hit anything. There we go. You're fucking out of here, buddy. I need more heals. AK, like, hopefully this guy has painkillers and energy drinks and stuff. Oh. The gun right there. I see you. Bam! All right. I will say this, chat. First person feels way more natural. Oh, shit. It's so hard to tell where the gunshots are coming from sometimes. I want to say that was coming from... It was. Hillside. Dude, we are fucking cracked. Am I getting pushed? This guy... <laughs> I'm sorry, is this guy on a paraglider? Imagine, imagine we hit one of those. All right, zone's coming in. This guy. Did I just hit him? I, I hit him. I fucking bloodshot at him in the air. So, am I getting like helicopter stratted like Warzone right now? Like, what is. When does he run out of gas? That guy's going to be a problem. Because besides short of sniping him, I don't know how to deal with that. What's this jammer do? Jammer pack? Instead of a backpack, what does the jammer pack do? Stops gas damage? Really? So is it good to have that at this point? Oh, okay. That's actually, actually, that's, that's really clutch. What are the chances, all my PUBG masters, that this guy runs out of gas and actually has to land that thing? Or is there a chance, and please tell me no, that he has enough gas to just fly that thing till the end? Like, can he just cheese his way and just hold that forever? And then I have to shoot him down? 50-50. Sniping from the cliffside over here. Killers right there. Do I 
need. This entire situation is sketch balls. Right there on the roof. He must have landed. That was him. Oh, that was him. He landed on this roof and that's the guy we took out. He sees me too, though. That's one. That's one of three. Okay. I'm really just worried about this backside right now. I feel like everybody's probably in houses. doing the exact same thing I'm doing. Oh, shit. My goodness, dude. That's my first solo win ever in PUBG, by the way. I've I've won duos and trios like way back in the day. That I've never won a solo. <laughs> 